I can make tattles now! Ah, welcome back viewers to another episode of Let's Play Sacred for the PC. The politically correct. Yeah. That's what the thing is with the thing. Uh, so I think uh, off camera, <clears throat> since I ended the last episode, I exchanged some runes and I brought my unicorn skill up to level 4. So now my unicorn should summon at 4 levels over my own level, and I resummoned him for that purpose. Did I say 4? 20 levels, so he'd be like level 27 now. I believe, and I also got a little skill in multi-hit, which doesn't show there, but uh, it's now level 2. Uh, it just <clears throat> gains a little bit of damage each time, so hopefully we can get a lot of runes for that. I think I gave that guy some equipment last time. I probably should have ran around and opened up all these treasure chests around town. It's, I don't know if that's the sort of thing I really need to do in the video. I don't know. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Um, <clears throat> I don't think I ever pointed out this guy uh, sells horses. How about a horse? If you wish to buy one, then please choose one out of my stock. So you have horses? How would I want to nag when I have a unicorn? Bitch! You got no... Get no nag, man? You nagging me! You nagging, son. Girl, girl, don't me nag me. I'll Girl, get started on your assignment right away. Um, person for the messenger quest is over here, but I went for the treasure chest accidentally. Makes sense though; it's reasonable. Uh, that's just some guy. He has a quest though. Uh, so yeah. Well, you don't really get a whole lot of XP from uh, <clears throat> completing the ancestors. quests either. Not a whole lot of XP in bronze mode. Yeah. A lot more in silver. Um, but the slight problem in silver that I'm dying constantly. Not even particularly fun when I'm playing by myself. Now, why do they have... Sad. Why do they have this option to delete? You know what I'm saying? Like... Yeah. Do, you, do you really need that there? Like, it's, they're that limited of a save slot? Where are you running? I want you to go inside the building. I even tried to make her turn around halfway and she wouldn't do it. No. Nope. Nope, go. Nope, there's too... Whatever. There's too many NPCs around. Damn it. Get me up. This, this is a... <clears throat> this is a problem I often find that I have with these... Uh, isometric view point and click dungeon crawlers. It's an honor to serve Hack and slash games, whatever you want to call them. You know, just like... Oftentimes, when you just want to move somewhere, there's stuff in the way, and it can be difficult just to move where you want to move. Um, pathfinding, oftentimes an issue, uh, especially, like, more often than not, any time a game has, uh, or gives you NPC companions, it's usually ruined by bad pathfinding, but <clears throat> on occasion, it's alright. Now, I don't know if I already went in there. Uh, if my memory serves, and I wasn't going to do this initially, maybe we could do it when we go back. But there's no 
One problem I have is there's no portal back from here. So I guess, you know, I'm just going to go do that bear quest. This is a big problem I have is there's no portal back from this little town area to the previous one. And it, be it becomes... I wonder why these creatures here um, even dare to attack me. Oh, from the space of the... Wait, what? From the space of... Thing... Deal. Oh, from the space of where you have a portal now to the next place that you run into a portal is like... A, just an absolutely huge area. I, th I think I might go ex kind of explore around over here. Eh, cause why not? trying to remember okay sort of kind of see if I can remember when I started this recording because once again <clears throat> I don't get a little thing on my screen now to tell me when I started it I really wish I knew how to get into this cave that's supposedly there uh, no information really forthcoming from the map so I don't know why they even have that there, that it's illustrated that there's a cave, you know? Uh, sorry I keep checking my map. I don't know if that might be annoying. I don't really need to. I know this area pretty well. Oh, look, a magical hiding place. There it is. Boof. I just drank some soda. I'm kind of burpy. Like the... Nope. Yeah, I pretty much forgot what that was. Uh, <clears throat> there's a... What are they? They're like, they they make seeds and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is weird. Sometimes it's hard to find this uh, end of the portal because it's... Oh, there's another magical hiding place. Because it's not on the map. And as far as I can recall, you can't um, set your own waypoints on the map. You know what's weird? Man, they have a lot of like little things running around. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just running the whole way. It's the same freaking thing at this point, isn't it? They really need better like fast travel or something in this game, because it just, yeah. It's mildly aggravating because there is not a whole lot of uh, stuff, things, and so it's just like you're just running and, yeah, uh, yeah. Seen this all before, so if I could skip it, that would be nice, you know. Uh, some games go overboard with the fast travel, like probably Oblivion was kind of took away the spirit of the game, but I, I don't know, I mean... I don't know how fun it was if you had played it like a million hours, <clears throat> but if you just played it like, you know, a bit, then it was still kind of fun to, um, things. Oh boy. My NPC is making noises again. I hear a bear. I don't see him. Is he fuzzy? Was he? Fuzzy, was he? Is he freaking... Oh, he's in the cemetery. Alright. Apparently the soda gave me gas in my butt. Funny how that works. I like how he's just waiting there for me to kill him. Ah! Hey! Yeah. Bronze is so My much armor easier. My protects me against ordinary injury. Oh. It doesn't really matter, does it? And we leveled. So that's always nice. Finally leveled. It only took, like, three videos. <clears throat> wow. So this is going to be interesting, but the thing is, I'm probably going to go through bronze... Uh... Man to a certain point, uh, 
I don't know, I uh, think uh, a lot of people, a lot of things that I've seen are recommended around like I level 20, 25. You don't actually, whatever, you don't actually have to uh, beat the game on bronze in order to get to silver and I don't think that you need to go all the way through and beat the game on bronze in order to like get the gist or get enough good enough gear to survive I think I got bad frames around here before too something about the game it get, gets choppy around there sometimes getting into these portals can be a little funky it is on my map now I was looking in the wrong place Hold on, I want to see something, because I don't think this connects through. Yeah, you just run into a cliff. That's really aggravating. It'd be nice if you could just, like, walk directly over from there, but you gotta go, like... You gotta go around a pretty healthy distance. So that's, um... <clears throat> if you press M, you bring up a world map. And then, uh... So that... If you... Uh, left click on the world map it gives you the same view as you would have if you tabbed and you can just kind of scroll like that which gives you an opportunity to keep track uh, on a larger scale of which areas you've explored and which ones you haven't and since uh, exploration carries over from difficulty to difficulty I do intend to do a decent amount <coughs> uh, a decent amount of exploration and what I'm thinking is, uh, yeah, I got kind of crappy frames there too. Uh, I'm getting frames, man. It's something uh, somebody said to me once when they were stoned and uh, driving the car that I was riding in. So I was like, I don't know what frames are, dude, but that does, uh, doesn't make me feel good. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be using melee weapons pretty much at all. We've gotten to a point in the game uh, we don't need strength uh, where um, gauntlets 8 protection 1 dexterity that might be good 18% to attack but get this um, let me see no, that's a different thing. I think it'll be better to slot that with a gem. So this one... Right. The one without a slot gives us higher attack, but... It'll get there. I think that's better. Ugh. Oh god, I didn't mean to do any thinking or anything. 3 to 5 mental regeneration. I don't need that. To, god, we keep getting stuff like that. 4 to 6. Mm. I don't think we need that. <coughs> I could be wrong. Yeah, that's good. Not really a huge deal, but it's a little bit of extra damage. I'm going to have to organize my inventory a tad here. Um, not super huge on doing that sort of thing on screen, but, you know, I gotta, I, I like to have healing potions, but you only need so many, I mean, come on. And they start to, all these little things start to, like, that's not what I wanted. Good to, that's not what I wanted to do. Eh, I don't care about these other potions too much, it's mostly about the healing potions. Um, kind of, 69 to 87. That's our new bow. Do, 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 do. Is anything extra on there? Weapon lore plus one. That's pretty good. Do, 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 do. Sweet. Nice upgrade. For a pretty trivial amount of money. Uh, let's see what we got here. Let's do, do. Doing some weapon lore. Mm. I like having that speed on there, you know? Any boots? We don't have boots yet. Uh, yeah. 
Meh, 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 no boots. Okay. I was not really intending to spend that much time at the vendor, but I guess it happens, right? Yeah. That reminds me of something funny, but I don't think that I'll bring it up. Just a strange... I wonder whether a guardian of the forest <laughs> will be accepted in this village. A, st a strange thing that sometimes happens to us in life that... Quotes from odd places stick themselves in our mind, and then you keep remembering the, like... You keep remembering these words. So for me, this was just... Yeah. It was, it was in a porno, so it's like I keep remembering this thing and it's like relevant to something somehow. I don't know. Okay, there's a dungeon down here. And it's full of ghosts. I guess we'll just zoom in because we're, I mean, we're not going to be able to. Yeah, my unicorn is kicking some butt. Look at him, man. He's just nailing it. Yeah, I had a little bit of trouble here with my vampire, even, actually. Because these guys were pretty tough. Yeah, see, they are. They're a little tough. They're giving good XP. Kind of. 100 apiece. I mean, for bronze mode, I guess. I guess that's good for bronze. Kinda hard to see in here. Yeah. Yeah, boy. More gold. Uh, every once in a while you get a useful thing, but not that often. I think th I have a good gem, so uh, that I can use at level 9. That'll be pretty cool. So there's, there's something to look forward to, but it's gonna take a while for me to get to level 9. Level 9 ain't no joke, man. Think they just giving away level 9? Sheesh. You better cook a fish. I don't know what the youth say these days. Alright. I can't leave here without searching this barrel. Shh. Donkey Kong put that there himself. Gotta be like an act of disrespect for me to pass it by without remark, without comment, without searching it. This is video game history, people. One does not just thumb their nose at history, right? So we got this, this Adelina chick down here, yeah. And I'm over there. Sacred meat. Sacred meat. Sacred meat. That just sounds interesting, doesn't it? I mean, that's one way to put it, right? Okay, hold on. I gotta press control now, because this game is being a little bit of a jerk. How do you like this wandering pack of... Wow, they all came all at once, Terrible huh? mistake. Wait, who made the terrible mistake? Okay. They weren't that hard. These, uh, packs of goblins can be good for some XP, for sure. Uh, sacred meat. <laughs> I want to, like, use this now. Hey, baby. Would you like to eat my sacred meat? Uh, hey, baby. Come to butthead. And we found some throwing blades that we can't use. I'm throwing blades! <laughs> Whatever. Shut up. Stop trying to be cool. <clears throat> Every time I try to be cool, it just goes horribly wrong. Alright. So there's also, uh, yeah, we got a quest to kill some shaman or something. Uh, it sounds like these goblins are just doing, like, baby talk or something. I don't know. It's not sacred meat. I'm just reading this wrong. It's salted meat. I remember that from a thing. So we gotta pick up some fresh meat. I don't know why it's... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We just pick... 
Okay, we just picked up some meat that's laying on the floor. Now, unless they just dropped it on the floor right before we walked in the room, pretty sure we're breaking the five second rule. So, alright, we're just gonna blow on it and dust it off and give it to that guy. The guy who I don't remember who he was that we got the quest from. <laughs> like, <clears throat> here's your meat, bro. <clears throat> Definitely didn't drop it on the floor. Nothing's wrong with it. Mm, yep. You know. Alright. Potions and stuff. That's one of those times I wish that I had been a little funny. I don't know. Just not feeling the funny lately. I don't know. Maybe I'm not really funny. Oh well. Coward! Shut up. I'm just trying to play the game. Oh, she's talking to the goblins. She's talking to the goblins, right. Uh, you know, there's nothing worse than trying to be funny. That's just sad. Let me see. I'm using the map a lot. I want to go around these trees, get this. Oh, that shaman quest is way up there. I'll take care of these ones that are, like, more in this area. Okay, these guys. That's This is the thing about this area. There are so many of these little goblins. Cook. Did you say it cooks great? I, I'll take your... I'll take your word for it, buddy. All right, we still got a f we still got a few minutes. We still got a few minutes. That's a spicy meatball. Oh, this guy's firing at me. Don't make me make my unicorn kick your butt. My unicorn will smash your face. I haven't got that many uh re 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 runes for other classes lately. Those are good for converting to whichever runes you want for your class. Like, uh, you know, right now I'd mostly sink them into my unicorn or multi-hit. I think my unicorn is set. I probably don't need to sink more into unicorn for bronze mode. He's probably going to kill most of anything I come across on bronze. What a whale! What a whale! May we all meet again in Spaceballs 2. The switch for more money! Oh yeah, I'm bringing the terrible impressions and terrible references. Lots of good references, it's just a bad impression. Which wouldn't really matter if I didn't, like, admit that it was supposed to be an impression. Which it mostly wasn't. I, I don't know. I feel like I'm better at everything before I put a microphone on, and then I'm like, I don't know. But then you know that's it's a funny thing of self-confidence because, like, when I'm sitting here and I'm doing an LP and I'm talking, I, f I feel like I sound like a total idiot and like somebody who whose voice would make me want to murder a cat uh, but when I actually listen back to it later on it's not that bad it only makes me want to murder a little okay I think this is uh, where we gotta go is in this cave maybe not a hundred percent sure good thing is once you target an enemy it uh, kind of put you in targeting enemy mode so you can just sort of keep moving the mouse around to find new enemies. Helps a lot for those big mob packs, you know? One thing that's an, kind of annoying with the uh, wood elf is that I like to pick my path through as far as where I'm going and everything and makes it a little more difficult Leader here. With, um, Leader there. You've got no chance against my powers. So there we go. That guy died. I told you he would die. He always dies. Oh well. Even in bronze, he dies. 
It's you saw his stats. Like usually people with those kinds of stats are probably just gonna stay out of combat. <laughs> like, buddy, I hate to break it to you, but you're basically a townsperson. You really don't need to be fighting stuff. You're the guy who has the sword that's better than the sword that I have, but you're you're for some reason selling it to me. Uh, and I guess that's why, because no matter how good of a sword you get, you are still a punk ass. And you get hurt by everything. Everything kills you. You are... What, uh... You are Jello, I guess, in a game of rock, paper, scissors. And rock, paper, and scissors all beat Jello. Pretty much. I don't know, I feel like Jello would kind of beat paper, but I don't know. You know what? Paper could cut Jello. I don't know what you would do to Jello with scissors, but you could smash the fuck out of some Jello with a rock, right? Alright, that's I'm gonna settle this question once and for all. I'm gonna get myself a rock, some paper, a pair of scissors, and I'm gonna make some jello. Matter of fact, you know what? Just just go for broke, let's make them jello shots. Sounds like a fun night. But unfortunately, it is about time for me to conclude this episode. So, uh, I guess I'm going to stop it here. Try to save my game, which apparently requires some expert maneuvering. And then I will say, uh, thanks for joining me on another episode of Let's Play Sacred. Uh, so this is Bezlinir signing out. And have a good one.